day's meditation on the crisis that clarity can sometimes bring, which can lead to us feeling so tired as we finally see and feel the load that we've been holding, carrying, storing. And sometimes it's about the loneliness that this new acquired clarity can sometimes bring that we don't seem to fit in with the same crowd or people, family members that we used to. Our tastes have literally changed. And I mean food types, drinks, or not drinking what we used to, how we used to, who we used to. And so with this in mind, to begin by sensing where your feet are, preferably on the floor, or on a cushion, but there's some surface underneath your feet that you can feel, that you can maybe press into, if need be. Now there's some support given to you by the chair that you're in or the wall or cushion that you're leaning against, leaning into some support at your back. There's some support underneath you. And to allow that to be felt with the feet and legs and arms and back and headrests, the seat of the chair that you're in. are all there to offer support and comfort and holding. The eyes become closed if they aren't already. And to feel your breath as your chest rises and falls. And sense your feet that they're still there. The chair that you're in is still there. start to feel what rises up, what's been hidden maybe, whether it's tiredness, whether it's loneliness, whether it may be panic, whether it's clarity and green, maybe the question, who am I now? Where do I fit in? What am I to do with my life? If I change, will I ever be liked? And such like. And just to sit with this, if possible, just to be on the edge of it, doesn't even need an answer. Just to breathe through the questions and feelings that may be rising up. And with all of that, breathe. Your eyes remain closed if possible. And with each breath, there's an option, a possibility to just flow deeper and deeper within oneself. Find a space within oneself.
you are you. It's to be within you right at this moment. Spend half of your breath. And to consider your youngest self or your youngest memory of yourself and how you've changed from that moment. certain friends you held so dear and close maybe on in your life at least in that same way and yet you're okay with each change there was a learning of oneself. Allow yourself to feel this if possible. Like an expansion. And with each phase, there may have been loneliness and sadness, confusion and panic. able to get to the other side, to get to where you needed to be. And here we are again. Sense yourself, imagine yourself, picture yourself, maybe in a boat, a vessel that's floating on water. one side of the land to the other. And you're looking out, whatever you can see is your imagination, your picture. But I would offer that maybe the sea or the water becomes rough, choppy. And again, just breathe and feel your feet. Sense where you are. The seat is still there. But you are still there within this change. In the boat or ship or vessel, whatever you may be in, continues to flow through this choppy, turbulent waters. With each passing moment, the waters become calmer. As you become calmer. Once again, you breathe. And I would offer that before your eyes is the other side of the land that you need to be on. It's new, it's bright. It's there for you, benefiting you, helping you. It fits you where you are in your life at this moment. Maybe there's some words that you'd like to say. Maybe out, out loud to yourself. And maybe within. If you reach exactly where you need to be. Literally new horizons. New colours. New people, maybe. New food, drink. Touch, taste. Sight, sense, hearing. Indeed, it was the turbulent waters as you left one position 
on the way to reaching another position in your life. It's the no person's land in between that can make us feel choppy. Unsettled, unsure, confused, lonely, tired. But we breathe. In your own way, you've been here many times before. Maybe this time is more felt. So we slow down into that, allow those feelings to be. This is how I'm feeling. But now we are in new territory. New experience. New environments. Internally and externally. And it's the journey from one point to another that can embolden us, that can give us strength and clarity. The change always happens in life. Sometimes it's the letting go and flowing in that change. It needs courage. Let go. <laughs> Gently and softly, and in your own way. This is your timing of your nervous system. As you move from one set of ideals to another. You can see clearly now and be clear now. Be who you need to be. You are worth it. I trust this has brought you some clarity, some comfort, some stillness, some peace. As we all flow through the tides of change from one side to the other. to know that the stillness and the peace and quietness can be found within at all times 